What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Mengu Cube. Mengu Cube. Mengu Cube. We got a demonic tier, but we also got a time vault. What is the play? Demo. Tiva. Demo. Tiva. <laughs> Do you smell toast? I think he's having a stroke. Oh boy. Good times. Demo. Yes, Mengu is short for Menguchi. That is correct. I'm going to take Time Vault here. Uh, we took it last night. We won one round, but I don't think it had to do with the Time Vault. What do we got here? Kenrith is in this cube, huh? Oh, to Tooth and Nail. Good to see you back, buddy. Uh, Seagate Stormcaller? Valky. I like a Valky a lot. Hmm. Glenelanger Archmage. We're taking things that untap this this time vault. I do like Valky. I kind of just want to play Tybalt. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. It's totally on brand. It's cur it's not weird. It's right. <clears throat> okay, so got an Urza. Got a black red land too. Um, the reason I didn't go tooth and nail is because it doesn't go well with time vault. There's not a ton of mono green things to untap. Whereas Valky lets us play a Grixis deck. And that's, that's more fun to me. I want to take Urza because we want to be artifacts anyway so we can play this Valky. Or we can take Splinter Twin because all of the cards that go with Splinter Twin also go with Time Vault. Deceiver, Exarg, Pestermite. That's what we're doing. So, hmm. Well, we're not white and we're not green, so that's rough. Wind's really, wind's really blowing out here. Could just take Psy. I don't love it. Oh, the Urza does let you tap the vault. Next level. I'm going to take Tropical Island. This pack's not super exciting. We could take Searing Spear, but... Come on. I guess we could take Walking Ballista. Eh. I think I think the I think it'll really have the island and a random walking ballista. Especially because like if we get Kiora's follower, this you just get to play this. Thirst could be good. Does Ulamog do anything for us? Not really. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll take Thirst. <clears throat> Where's my untap ways? Give me them untap ways. Could also just splash the black and play play teamer. I think we're probably gonna do that. Well, what do you do? What do you do, old schemer? All right, you create a you create a lotus petal. Oh, it's an Ethereum cell, actually. Yeah, man, whatever. And we're just going to preordain here. Thank you, Mystic Snake. Oh, what up, Spaghetti Toucher? Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it. This has Mystic Snake, Oracle, and Through the Breach, and Regrowth. This pack, this pack is actually pretty bananas. <sighs> Boy. It's not Mystic. It's definitely one of these two, I think. And there was an Ulamog going around. I'm going to take Through the Breach. I think the upside is just higher. Let's take Rex Sage. Oh, Tooth and Nail. See, now we'll Tooth and Nail. Or we'll, we'll Hunt Master. Yeah, we're going to Hunt Master. We're like a value deck right now, anyway. That makes me sad, but. Can I be Frank you? I don't know what that means. I feel like you're just missing words there. 
Twee the snake. I don't, I don't, you guys are literally not speaking English. I'm outside with my doggo having a big red soda and a cigarette. Oh, Bark Channel? Nice. No, 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 nice. Twin the snake. Hmm. That does make more sense. Yeah, visionary seems sweet. Um, thank you, Baron von Vaderham. Welcome back. Really appreciate the resub, buddy. Oh, Hydroid Crassus and Vorin Clex, huh? I'm gonna go with Big Vorin. I kind of like all the cards we have right now. Got some real. The Ulamog didn't come back, unfortunately. Got some Splinter Twin and Through the Breach with nothing to really twin or breach. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. J Chart, welcome back. I feel like you just didn't you just resub? I feel like this is some trickery. It's not Cryptic Command as much as I want it to be. I think it is Mole Drifter. Maybe Talisman comes back. Talisman, Dragon Lord, Chart. This this pack's pretty good. I'm gonna go with Big Moles. Oh, Simic. There's also Simic Signet. Lands are good. Sulfur Falls, Shivan Reef, and River Glide Pathway. I also like a Glory Bringer. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, 65. 65, huh? Tameo taps, but doesn't untap. I think it's just Sulfur Falls, to be quite honest. Let's fall from favor when there's not a field. Tap enchanted creature and you become the monarch. I kind of like that. I like becoming the monarch. I'm going to become the monarch. Is there any way to untap this thing or is it just a trick? I think we're just taking eternal witness here. We passed a regrowth. I like internal witness. Splinter to an eternal witness. Time spiral, eh? I think time spiral is the best card in this pack by a sizable margin. Eureka's Castle. Eureka. I think Spellpier is actually pretty good. I don't think we're a fellow stack. We're not going to have a ton of forests. Direfully Daredevil is reasonable. I'm going to take Spell Pierce. I just want to be piercing things. Oh, escape is great. Let us take an escape. Hmm. If we're splashing black for Valky, is this really out of the question? Look at the top seven cards, put two of them in your hand and the rest on the bottom. So this is just a uh, so, turnabout does untap the stupid time vault. I want to take the nickel bolus because really, come on, why wouldn't I? Questing Beast, Dragon Lord, Tark, Harmonize. Hmm. I'm just going to go with Questing Beast here. We don't have a ton of ramp. Unfortunately, none of those uh, Signets came back. River Glide Pathway came back, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like a Farseek, actually. Farseek also gets us Tropical Island Taiga. Yeah, I'm fine with Scavenging Games. We already have Rex Sage. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a bit of Boston. Whatever. Uh, Dire Fleet's actually playable. I like Dire Fleet over this. And wow, I'll actually play an Arbor Elf. Sure. I mean, if you're spending five on Through the Breach, might as well just spend seven and just cast a Tarka. You know, like it's it's a matter of like, usually you want like a 10 plus creature because you're really saving and you want to get the Annihilator triggers. Mox Ruby. Oh, we're passing a bribery. I mean, I'm definitely not passing an on-color Mox. That's just silly, so. Ooh. Okay, we're taking channel and we're crossing our fingers for the goodness, for the good goods. Give me that dog. That's not your dog. Natural order. Are we natural ordering? I don't think so. I think we're still in librarying. Untap a creature. Dang it. Yeah, Sylvan library seems like the pick here. Sylvan Library is a good one. Oh, Dak Fate? My god. God, did we take Deceiver Exarch, which is actually a combo with both Splinter Twin and Time Vault? Or do we take the Dak Faden, which is a combo with itself because it's so good? Fine. Hull Breacher is like, f what? Oh, I like that this is in here a lot. Consecrated Sphinx, but I, I like Hull Breacher is so good. And we have Time Spiral already. Oh man, that's, that's bananas. I'm taking through the Breach out for now because we have nothing to Breach right now. I don't think Valky's making the cut either, unless we hit like something that we can search for with Valky or uh, Farseek rather. Oh, Zealous Conscripts, perfect. Combos with Time Vault, combos with Splinter Twin. Na na na, nailed it. Channel is out right now, as far as I can tell. That's unfortunate. Everything else seems fine, though. I guess Valky doesn't. The temple of deceit flows down. Factor Fiction, man. I would actually rather play Factor Fiction than Thirst in this deck. I want to take Factor Fiction here. Oh, Birds of Paradise? I actually kind of like Birds of Paradise here. Could also just take Inferno Titan. I think it's Birds. Wow. That was... I'll take out Thirst. I'm going to take out Valky for now. I'm taking out all my all the fun... Oh, Blood Crypt could do it. Hmm. There's also Control Magic and Nissa still in this pack, which is pretty wild. Um. Oh, dang. Blood Crypt is... We can get it with Farseek. We also have Birds. I think we're going to take the Blood Crypt here. I bet Hinterland Harbor comes back. Red, white, why couldn't... Look, red, white, red, white, red, white. 
You know, someone's got natural order, so I'm going to take this progenitist. Oh, whoa, we got natural order. Also green white. All right, now we're taking the natural order. Why is that still there? Renin six, if we had no fetch lands. Actual zero fetch lands. Oh, the Hinterland Harbor came back. Look who's a genius. Oh, once upon a time. Interesting. Survival? Sure. I mean, we just got natural order into, into progenitus, which is pretty sweet. Um, Well. I do want the Valky now that we have Blood Crypt. Blood Crypt is all it takes, because now we can... Now we have Farseek, Birds of Paradise, and Blood Crypt, which is three sources of black. For one Valky, take Arbor Elf out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, Water Sports Drew. Oh my God. Welcome back. Huh. This deck seems interesting. Unfortunately, we're not playing channel. Fall from favor is when it enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature and you become the monarch. As long as you're the monarch, that creature doesn't untap. It's a lot of good lands too. I think this is this is probably the deck. We can probably take out one three drop here. Let me just take out the main deck Spell Pierce. I don't know. Spell Pierce is probably going to be good, right? Oh, uh, I've enjoyed this cube so far. Yeah, but it has it has heavy uh, vintage cube leanings, which is what I like. We can also just take out the Valky and not really. God, it's so it's so fun though. Uh, escape is insane. You're you're actually a clinically insane person. You should probably be locked up. I mean, Valky and Bolas are going to be uh, equally equally difficult to cast. So. Escape is our only five drop. What about Moldrifter and Zal's Conscripts? I mean, I could see playing both. I could live in that world. <laughs> I was like, there's two more cards in that exact pile. I, I could see Cutting Dire Fleet Daredevil, but like, it's cheap, it's good. Like, there's so many good instants and sorceries that you can copy. Oh, man, the Undead Ninja. I'm on it. Could take Vorinclex out. I like Vorinclex, but, like... What if we take out these two? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're not a coward stream, right? So... Sort by Colares. So green, three, four, five. Riverlight is red, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably want one more there. Blue, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. done two-way thank you so much man really appreciate it 
Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, actually, Vorinclex into Planeswalker does actually kind of do something for my for my Jimmy's. I actually do kind of like going Vorinclex into either Nicol Bolas or Valky. That does that does excite me. Let's cut Spell Pierce. God, I'm sure it's going to be good. 41. We're just going to play 41. That's it. That's the ticket. Makes me feel some kind of way. Do, do, do. All right. What's a rare Pepe? I don't even know what's going on. I hope they have something I can kill. That'd be great. All things considered, those are not the worst hits, I guess. See that Deceiver Exarch. Oh, Kyle, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, good. We're, we're entombing. I'm sure you're going to get a Sundering Titan and bring that thing back for you. And uh, it's going to be fun. Everybody's going to have a good time. Crystal Brand. Animate Dead? Shallow Grave? Well, I mean, I guess you're one and done here, so that's okay. We'll see you later, Gristle. Oh, wow. Draw seven more. It's very hard. Unforgiven. What up, dude? I feel like it's very hard to win when your opponent draws an extra 14 cards and gets to choose the best seven in their hand. Let's e-witness and just get back a sulfur falls like this. That's my turn. I'm going to e-witness and draw land. So now they have unbarrel rights for like Grave Titan, Rude Scarred Demon. Yeah, it seems good. Uh, C CSU is about an hour away. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very close. Oh, interesting. Three, four, five. It's funny because if we actually are able to zealous conscripts the Runescar Demon, we can actually deal 11, which is shockingly close to killing them. Shockingly close. Shut up and take my money. Unforgiven. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Good seeing you, my dude. Man, always support it. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to tell if this, 
if I always I always do the light check when I get new cards. I'm like, let me see if this card's real. I mean, it's just an Oath of Druids for like 20 bucks, right? So I'm pretty sure it's like not even worth counterfeiting. Oh, no. Man, it's pretty easy to forget that this is only turn four. <laughs> Okie dokie. Zealous Conscripts would be nice. We can actually, uh, Zealous Conscripts, untap this, take an extra turn, hit a land, time spiral. Oh, the old Euro test, man. I mean, even if they living in, the living ended here, they get Champion of Wits, Grave Titan, and Thieving Skydiver, which is not even that big of a deal. Thank oh, I used the wrong mode. I'll tap it to draw a card. Placid Laughter, welcome back, buddy. Oh, you're going to make me sack my, my Eternal Witness? Oh, we're discarding cards now. I see. I mean, if we hit, if we have land land off the top, we can go Zealous Conscripts, untap Time Vault. Time Vault, take an extra turn. Um, time Spiral. Or actually Boring Clex. Is that lethal? Six? Ugh, just give me land land. So they take two, they go to 11. No, they actually take three, four, five. They go to eight. And then we go untap. If there's two lands on top and they don't have like a way to just kill something, we're pretty good. Never mind. Oh, they reanimated that. Hmm. Land? Huh. Wow. We can actually conscripts steal the rune scar demon and put them to one. Man, that's so funny. So let's conscripts Grave Titan. Then we have three attacking creatures. They have two blockers. They go block, probably double block conscripts. They get back Grave Titan. What is this? How does this win us the game is my question. Fuck, stupid Runescar Demon, man. One point. We have no way to deal one extra point. I think we just have to get the extra turn here. Splinter Twin? <laughs> of course, it couldn't be a six land to try to Splinter Twin. That would have been cool. <laughs> we had outs. I mean, if we hit a land, we can just go, you know, Time Spiral, untap all our lands. Yeah. That was unfortunate. See, this is, this is where you want Dire Fleet. Daredevil. Take Nikki B out for now. I mean, any land gives us seven more chances to hit time uh Splinter Twin. So I mean, like it's it's it seems like a pretty obvious <laughs> an obvious line. I like this. Snap that off. Oh, what up? Oh, what up? Uh...
dang it, I was gonna call Mediocre Magic Man Music Manly, <laughs> but then I like forgot who I was gonna. I was like, oh, what up, uh, me, uh shit, the other, what's the other M name? Music Manly, and then it was you know, but then it was too late and I messed up. Um, I feel like it's far seek here. <laughs> oh man good times oh good two games in a row that's nice did they what did they do like the did they do like the discard gristle brand i didn't even see them do that that's unfortunate oh boy oh boy let's preordain oh that's interesting that is one, two, three, four, five. Wow, we are one mana shy of doing that. Hmm. All right, we'll take a hit from Gristle. And then we'll hit them with Gristle. They do only have one land, so it's not like they can even cast that many things. I'm sure they're just going to go land him to Torok. They're going to hit our Zealous Conscripts. You ready? There's the land. And him to Torok. They did not do that. Seven. I'm just gonna put everything back. I mean, we could have also played around it, right? We could have kept land Zealous Conscripts on top so that we draw the land and then Zealous Conscripts is protected. My problem with that is I just don't want the land. All right. I like it. Spell Pierce seems pretty decent here. I mean, I don't know how we're going to survive against the Gristle Brand. We have, I guess we can Muldrifter and block it. But they're kind of priced out of. Oh, what if they draw seven and then they just try to play Liliana and then we Spell Pierce it and kill them? That would be cool. I would enjoy that. That would put a smile on my face. Give me your dad. That's not your dad. <laughs> oh, that's good times. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well. You know, I will use this ability. Oh, boy. So put that on top. Put that on top. One, two, three. Let's track her. A blue land. Is this real? One, two, 
one. You know what? I am the monarch. Look at me. I am the monarch now. I thought you were going to try to say something clever and didn't come with anything. That is way more, more funny. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, give me that card. Give me that card. Accidentally was double. How do you accidentally double? Yeah. Good. That's. I was like wondering what you were responding to. Oops. What do you even get here? There's already an Iona. Oh, big runes. Big Rooney boy. Oh, are they going to instant speed? Oh, yeah. Shallow grave that thing. Don't try to kill me, bro. I mean, I guess you still can't. No, you can't. You don't got to get haste now. I don't know if Corpse Dance is up in this piece. Spell Pierce, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they're dead on board. They can't activate Gristlebrand. They got four cards in hand, so. Exhum, huh? Okay. What are we getting back? Vorinclex, probably? Sure. I mean, they can get anything in their library now. If I had another man, I'd probably just get Eternal Witness. Okay. As a chump blocker. Oof. Oh, we can just Valky here because that's that's how we set it up, right? And we have Vorinclex. Oh, baby. Oh, ba 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 baby. 10 majiggers. Exile the uh, exile a creature. Okay, I'll get this guy. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> hey -oh. Are you having more fun than Vintage? Oh, uh, this is basically similar to Vintage Cube. This is just a modified Vintage Cube, basically. But yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's, it's, I, it's, it fulfills the same scavenging news. Why didn't you come in round one? I don't know. That's wild. <laughs> okay. Still waiting for this, uh, for this hull breacher to do some work. I'm going to take Rex Sage out. We haven't seen any targets. Like typically you'd think they have, uh, animate dead or necromancy, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh, looks a lot like my cube. Look at a little humble brags McGee over here. I'll keep this. Turn one time vault. It's not exciting, but uh, the Eldrazi's are in the same place that. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Well, they went to six. That's good for us. Oh, well, they're not hitting in Tomb, and that's probably not going to be great. Um, there's no reason to play this on turn one. We can just play Spell Pierce. We can just keep Spell Pierce up. Because if they want to go turn two, like, in Tomb. Oh, wow. Okay. I 
I would love a green source. Then we can go. Wow, they are just going to go. They are just leaning on this library. That's hilarious. Okay, not what we're looking for, unfortunately. Boy, the fucking double green cards really have screwed me like two out of three drafts so far. Jesus. No, I did get a haircut last week. Okay. I like it. Now we're probably just going to have Questing Beast. Next turn we can go Zealous Conscripts. Attack for seven. Untap Time Vault, attack for seven. That's 14. Mm -hmm. So that should be not lethal. Oh, it's kind of annoying. Sure, my dude. There could be a land land on top. That could be good. Actually, do I really want to do that? Get to draw another card. Hold on one second. <sighs> wow, that was surprisingly backbreaking. Again, like, it's just this one little thing. If I had another blue, I'd probably put the kibosh on this guy, but I don't think we're going to do that yet. Then again, if they have exhum or something, it's like, we don't really, spell pierce doesn't really do much against that. Can I ask a question related to your haircut? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, good. Fallen Shinobi. That's fun. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, two hits, huh? Must be nice. Yep. Well, I got a land. I got eight cards. I have to assume you have a land here. No land. Okay. No land for us either, though, so that's okay. Well, that's the end right there. Man, felt like this game was going really well until they literally had Thieving Sky ever for a single mox. And then we didn't hit a fifth land for two turns. Fall from favor is actually pretty sweet. I kind of like this. Oh, good. We're entombing. Let's be sure to shallow grave a gristle brand here. Hmm. Yep. Seems good. Man, too bad I didn't have Spell Pierce up. Man, lands would have been sweet. Come 
on Deceiver Exarch. Fashionably late to the party. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. If we had one more land, we could actually escape to the wilds and uh, for five. We have one extra land in play. We could play two lands, then we can hopefully uh, hit a Deceiver Exarch. I feel like it's actually just boring clicks here. Like, they have to block, right? They can only block, they block here. And they maybe block the Vorinclex with the Iona. That doesn't seem good, right? <laughs> that actually seems terrible. Oh, we also can't cast Escape because it says red. Never mind. Well, we can just play Warren Clicks, I guess. Okay. Well, no idea what's happening right now. This game could go either way. Probably going their way. Champion of shits. Make sure you discard Gristlebrand so you can unbarrel rights it. There it is. Of course, you get the exact card that, uh, yep, there, there's your boy. Hmm. Also, Valky uh, Tybalt is red, so we can't cast that either. That's great. That was a great call. I guess you are the monarch now. Look at me. I am the monarch now. No. Oh. Yep. Not even an option. Let's preordain and see what kind of nonsense we can hit. One, two, three, four, five lands, huh? None of these do anything. Bottom them both. See, it's, it's actually funny because if we did find Deceiver Exarch to tap down Gristlebrand, um, we'd actually, they would take a double block here and take three, four, five, six, seven. We're bottoming both of these. And Llanowar Visionary. Well, that's what the end of the game looks like, guys. Wow. Okay. Huh. Well, not dead yet. They do get their fallen shinobi back. Actually, we're probably dead. I don't know. <laughs> Shh. 
Sure, dude. You got it. Oh, boy. What well, must be nice. Well, sometimes you get every card when you get to draw uh, 14 extra cards a game and you get to hit two relevant cards off of your opponent's your Fallen Shinobi hit. So, what can you do? That Gristle Brand is a pretty good card. Man, Canterbury Cream Eggs are delicious. What are you talking about? You sound like a crazy person. Is it really 65? It's fucking really hot in here. I'm either going to have to shut the window or open it more. I can't tell which. if this match is ever going to start. Who fucking knows? All right. Oh, look, no green and two double green cards. Fucking every game, man. Every fucking game. Let's ship that. Actually, that's really good with... Oh, Crutch Jr., you better get out of the chat, buddy. Hmm. Yes, they are a sub. Crutch Jr. is a regular. Um, God, I really don't want to ship here. We're going to go turn one bird and turn two hull breacher, which sounds great. I think it's got to be time spiral. As much as I love the time spiral dream, it's just not a reasonable card to keep. It costs six mana. Everything else is good. Yeah, this bird's not going to live now. And they're probably not going to draw any extra cards anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, Tiger's good. Look at that. Exactly what I thought. Being right every single fucking time that something bad happens is super cool. Okay, well, we're making up for it, I guess. You got it. 
showdown of the scalds. Legion war boss. Rough. Um, I kind of like that, actually. Would you like to use that ability? Pff, yeah, for sure, man. I would love to. That would be great. Oh, boy. I, mean, I would play Factor Fiction, but Muldrifter just seems better here. Okay. I mean, putting bodies on the board is good. You can double block Brimaz, which is fine. Or we can just take three and... I don't know. That seems fine. Okay, we're living the dream here. Okay. Well, let's get another island. Play this island. A lot of land we got, a lot of mana we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So next turn we can factor fiction. We're like, and we shawled our deck now because we have far seek, so we can actually potentially hit time spiral again. That would actually give us seven treasures. We are in the combat step. We're in the end game now. That guy too, huh? And Muldrifter has the least benefit on the board, so if they have a little cute spell there. Okay. Not great. Bob. Let's see. What? We have five man. Oh, there's the time spiral. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're gonna put it by itself. I mean, if you give me Eternal Witness, I'll just get it back. Oh, this is a good pile too. This is an easy pickup. Snap, pick that up. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Eh, I mean, we gotta play Eternal Witness for something, I, I imagine. Because when you time spiral, we're just gonna lose it anyway, so we might as well. Or we can play Zealous Conscripts, steal like Brimaz. Doesn't do anything though. We can also just play land. Like, let's get a bird. Bird seems good. It's unexciting, but it sets us up for a good time spiral next turn, so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you gotta empty your hand now because... All right.
All right, well, this guy's going back to the hands. So I don't necessarily care about that. Um, block here, definitely block here, block here, block here. I'll take three, four, five, I'll take six. Seems good. This also gets the uh, the Rex or the Eternal Witness back in our deck. Play land. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's all those conscripts I don't really care about. We're gonna make a mil. Actually, maybe we do. One, one, two. We're gonna make a million treasures, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then we have four, five, six. Yeah, might as well play it, right? What the hell? Um, tap six lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. And infinite treasures. <laughs> One, two, three. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that'll do. Okay. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Scavenging ooze is good. Let's take the Nicol Bolas and the Valky out because we're not here to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's add another green. <laughs> we'll bring in Dire Fleet Daredevil instead. Hey, look, we get to do it again. No second green, though. Crutch Jr. screwed up. He didn't say big fan. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh my god, really? That's the creature you play on turn two? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is that team, is that team J-Bro in the chat? I mean, we're just going to tap this guy, I think. And then we're just going to try to draw Splinter Twin. Doesn't seem hard.
Uh, one, two, three. This is obnoxious, but we have Eternal Witness and a bird on board, so this kind of feels better for us. Plus, now we can just block Burmaz all day. Okay. Well, you... Oh, that's nice. We're going to play this, and we can just keep a bird for the spell pierce. Um, yeah, I don't foresee myself blocking either Brimaz or the 1-1. One -one. I just wrote an op-ed and then qualified me. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think I'd rather take three here than let your board advance. I don't actually need to play. I mean, if they have a magma jet to kill our bird, I'd rather just keep spell pierce here. Thank you. Oh, what up? It's Mr. X. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I like that. Let's do that. Oof. I don't think we want time spiral here. I do I do feel okay with Zealous Conscripts though. I've got five lands. Next turn we can eternal witness and get back preordain, which is nice. And then still keep up uh, Spell Pierce. I mean, we could just keep taking three for quite a bit. It's not a huge threat. Oh, what up, Big Hints? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep up Spell Pierce forever. Like, if they have Path or Swords or something, like, there's no reason to risk it for the Biscuit. Oh, I like both of these. Hmm. All right. They didn't even attack now. Oh, because I guess because we can just block, double block here. So we're in good shape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the anus for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Good games, Kretzy boy. All right. Oh, Crutch Jr. did leave the chat. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, that Armageddon was rough. Armageddon hurt Thanos? <laughs> oh, dear. I think Facebook is broken. Oh, wow, that's wild. I've never seen this before. Something, sorry, something wrong. We're working on getting it fixed. Holy shit. I've never seen Facebook, like, be down. Crutch Jr., good games, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I had some lands in hand. I also had Eternal Witness to get back a land if I needed to, so. Yeah, I think it actually, it might have helped me more than you. Oop, there you go. Yeah, even Messenger's down. Facebook's Facebook's really borked right now. They done messed up. He's rebooting his R? His R human suit? Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Superman's just like, I hate you. I will play first. Okay, yeah, I'll keep it. Look at all these beautiful colors. The great Facebook reset, like the, yeah. There is a programming language now. That's, J-Chart, that's your second South Park reference, man. I actually don't watch, I, I can't remember the last South Park episode I've watched. I'm actually quite shocked that it's been on for as long as it has. Okay. Oh, look at that sweet goose. I'll play a reclamation sage on your time vault. Oh, Skur Tri Builder is not nearly the same. Oh, dang. They're, they're, they're sending a message. Hmm. Do I eternal witness here and just get preordained? Probably. Is that is that the garbage Andy? Garbage Andy, I got a question for you. How do I get into these events that you're playing in? They look like a blast, but I don't know how to get like on the fucking invite list. I'm always like, oh, you guys look like you're having a good time. And then you do have a good time. And I'm like, oh, man. I don't know any of them, really. I'm, you're always like, oh, I'm battling in the super fun mega draft extravaganza this weekend. First prize is a gold crown made of candy. And I'm like, oh, that sounds amazing. I would love to play in that. Then you're like, it's me and 40 of my closest friends. And I'm like, oh, no, I want to be a closest friend. Wouldn't that be a candy grab? Buddy, you don't know anything about chemistry, okay? <laughs> now you're just being rude. So what happened here? They went Talisman, Wall of Roots, and Demonic Tutor in the same turn? Okay. Thursdays at 7 p.m.? I could do that. I could do that. I think we just play the stupid questing beast here, right? Right, guys? Or do we play preordain summon live or a factor fiction? I don't know. There's so many things we could do. How about seven days, sevens days at Thursday p.m.? I that's a little rougher. Then I gotta get back into the fictional land. What's this guy in 04? Alright, that's not. You could continue to just insult it. What am I insulting? The questing beast? Trash and Andrew? Trandrew, if you will. One, two, three, four. Are they gonna are they gonna crater hoof behemoth with a wall and a, go a gilded goose? Is it got a tooth and nail? They're tooth and nailing, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just the stupid hydroid crosses. <sighs> Obnoxious, but fine, right? Like, did I not play a land last turn? I played a land. I play a land every turn. Where am I? Where am I messaging you? Oh, okay, 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 Andrew. Facebook still down? Wow, Facebook being down this long is super weird. This is really this is really alerting me to how much how much I use Messenger to communicate because now I'm like, how do I get a hold of people? <laughs> Hearing my name like that made me feel weird. You said it. You you started this. Let's do this. Oh, time spiral. One, two, three, four. 
Discord is pretty great. I do love a Discord. We don't even have a second blue for this. Oh. Do I just Splinter Twin this? Hmm. That is a fascinating concept, isn't it? I'm gonna get in there with this this hot gentleman. They're like, you know, I'm not gonna block. Discord works great, but is a stack of cards. I don't even know what that means. Let's play this guy. Let's play this guy. And we'll call it a day. So we're looking for zealous conscripts or a deceiver exarch, right? This is the way. I had to look at Morris phone number to text her for the first time in like three years. <laughs> what do you gotta look it up? Do you type your do you type your wife's phone number ran like like manually into your into her, into the phone? You're just like because I just have her saved. Like I'll just go to her name and then click. It's not in your new phone. That's so weird because it's like it's 2021, and I never I don't I don't remember the last time I got a phone where my information just wasn't put in there. Like, I've never, like, gotten rid of my old phone to get a new phone and been like, well, I guess I'm starting over. It's always like, well, all right, put my info in here. Now we just draw. Now we're just in top deck mode. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still one blue, though. So we're going to... One, two, three, four. Man, if only we lived in a world where... Oh, you're going to counter this? Sounds good. Is this round three? God, it feels like a, a lifetime. I guess I could have played Mox Ruby to play around Spell Pierce, but the problem is if we're paying mana for Spell Pierce... Okay. Congratulations. You won the game. And where were you a couple turns ago, you stupid idiot? Thank you. Hmm. Oh, JTSA, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Like, those few people are very good at what they do, so it works, but I feel like if something were to really go wrong, like like it is for Facebook right now, they would not have the manpower. I think Discord... Uh, so that's actually... I, that's kind of how I feel a little bit. Every time I use Discord, I'm like, this seems really good. It's very versatile. There's a lot going on. But I'm always like, did you guys get too big too quick? Well, Facebook's not getting an error anymore, so it looks like they're they're kind of growing a little bit. My friend works for Discord. Tell me you're back. Why don't you tell them that I think that their product is fantastic? Eh, God. Two seven drops, huh? One land? Sounds good. Yeah, all right. I'm going to ship old Re Recky. Recky Roo. I love it whenever something gets delivered from from eBay that I get a notification on my phone from eBay. I get an email. I get four different notifications. Wow. Fucking amazing. <laughs> you got it, champ. Well, isn't that funny? I want to pre-order and try to hit another blue source, I guess. Okay, we didn't. Do I want this other green? No, not really. But maybe? But not really. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal, but it's fine.
This does tap the creature, right? Oh, yeah. Bam! Tap him down! Oh, no! The questing beast has never been tapped before, so... Oh, and I drew another blue source. Fudge, yeah. We should all switch to the line messenger app. What is the line? What do you think the staying power of the line is? I, I'm curious. As a software gentleman, do you think it's got longevity? Or is it just some is it just poop? Obviously you don't think it's poop, because you wouldn't you wouldn't be you wouldn't be promoting it if it was poop. But I mean, like, there's been so many lines around for over a decade. I ain't never heard of it. So the problem here is I feel like they're going to try to be sneaky and be the monarch. One, two, three, four, five. What did they get last time with Demonic 2 that was super backbreaking for us? Hydroid Crassus, I guess? Okay. They might actually just kill the fall from favor. But then we can go land, eternal witness, fall from favor. That'd be cool. Okay. So you want to be the monarch. <laughs> well... Let's talk about that. I want to be the monarch now, buddy. That's <laughs> monarch round and round. <sighs> Sheldock, don't care about that. I'll take four. This is such an emotional roller coaster. Are you Rhett or Link? I'm definitely, I'm definitely, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm definitely a Rhett. I'm, I'm a Rhett with a Lynx palette. They just played this when they had a time walk in the graveyard. They didn't get their time walk back. So are we dead? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is nine. Oh, this guy untapped. Cool. This is a fun match. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you next time. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Always an absolute fucking pleasure. Thanks for watching.